I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yesterday, students and parents were concerned as there was a direct threat to the students here on campus. Many students did not go to school due to these threats. Stay safe, everyone. If you see something, say something. Also, thank you to all police officers who are here on campus ensuring our safety. We will have more information on our newscast on Thursday. Now let's take a look at your daily world. First off, awesome job to the DV Marching Band and Color Guard at their Bands of America Regional Championship held in St. George, Utah. They were missed at the Pep Assembly and Homecoming football game, but did a great job scoring 82.2 and ranking fourth place. <laughs> There's a youth ambassador meeting coming up next Tuesday, November 5th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the Phoenix City Council Chambers, located at 200 West Jefferson. Check it out on the DV website for more info if interested. Now it's time to take a look at the fun events that happened this past weekend. If you missed anything from last week, it was homecoming at a very exciting time. Friday, we started with our homecoming assembly with games and performances from our cheer and a special performance from our football and dance teams. Before the game, it was senior night. It's so amazing that the players who have been in the program for four years can get recognized for their outstanding work. Everybody who came out to the game had an awesome time. We finished that night with also having an amazing homecoming game, where we beat the first Queen Creek. We won up the score of 35 to 28. Congrats to Natalia Shavira and Yusuf Kudusi for being named homecoming king and queen. Finally, the homecoming dance, where everybody went and got their party on. The DJ killed it, everybody had a really fun time. I'm Gavin with your homecoming week wrap up. <laughs> this week we have more college visits for you. On Wednesday, a representative from Fort Lewis College will be on campus, and on Thursday, representatives from Kansas City Art Institute and Westmont College will also be on campus. So make sure to check them out. If you are interested in learning more about any of these colleges, or you'd like to see who else is coming to our campus, sign into your Navion's account. There's a list of college visits and times, so check it out. You should always take time to do something good. Registration for Awatuki's biggest walkathon to fight cancer is now open. Go to relayforlife.org slash awatukifoothillsaz and register for this year's event for only $5. Hurry, because this discounted fee doesn't last long. 
If you have questions or need more information, see Ms. Menser in room C210. Now let's take a look at an uprising star here on campus. What's good, man? It's Young T-Pack in this bit. Ah. October 19th is a, a show offer that I've been getting. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it, but might. But, oh wait, also I have a show uh, on the 6th of October. So, it's going to be cool. We're going to have features with Lil Jug um, in the future. Uh, October 30th, Halloween type. If you like what you heard, then make sure to go check out some of his upcoming shows. Now, let's check out what's going on in clubs and activities for this week. Looking for something you can do to pass time after Thanksgiving? Well, the Festival of Lights Holiday Kickoff Party needs over 300 volunteers on November 23rd and 24th to make this fun event successful. If you volunteer, you can earn community service hours. Volunteers normally work in pairs for three-hour shifts. So to volunteer or for more info, please visit their website at folaz.org and click on the volunteer button. Girls Beach Volleyball for the spring season had an informational meeting this morning, but there will be another meeting today after school at 315 in room A109. Now let's head straight into sports. Up next, Dean is the latest. Hey DV, let's take a look at what's going on in Thunder Nation. Swim and Dive competed at the Tempe City Meet at McClintock on Thursday. Girls took first for the 11th year in a row and boys took third. Here are the results. Last week on Thursday, cross country competed in the Tempe City Meet. We secured the bread winning all six trophies. Our football team took on Queen Creek at the last official home game for the seniors on, sun at on Friday. We dominated the Bulldogs beating them 35 to 28. Cross-country regionals are tomorrow at Crossroads Park, and Swim and Dive State Meet is on Friday and Saturday at Skyline. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Dean, and thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. Follow us on social media at DV Thunder Media to find out what goes on behind the scenes. You can also watch all of our newscasts on YouTube if you ever miss a show. Don't forget that Halloween is tomorrow, so be sure to celebrate this spooky holiday by watching scary movies, eating candy, and dressing up in your favorite costume. Have a great Halloween. We'll see you back here Thursday.